going to leave this on for about 30 minutes and then I'm going to get in the shower, rinse this out, co-wash, and then I'll be back to show you how I do my wash and go and define my curls with the other two, three sisters of nature's products. Hey, I'm back. So what I did was I had that conditioner in my hair. I actually ended up putting both of them in. And then I co-washed with this, the Talia Waji Creamy Curly Co-Wash. And then I went on ahead and finished this up. This is the Herbal Essence Moroccan My Shine Conditioner. And this stuff makes your hair so soft even after it rinses out. I don't like to rinse all of it out. So I finished this up and this made it pretty soft. And now all I have in now is the leave-in conditioner. And normally what I would do if I was not recording a video is I would take either my Aussie Moist or some kind of other conditioner and put just a tiny bit of that in um, my hair before I put this in. But I just used this by itself just so I could get a full review, a truthful, honest review. And I'm not sure if they have shampoos or um, uh, co-washes, but I'll have to check on that and see. But I'll just try to use something universal. And then this is a t-shirt that I've cut in half. You can see the sleeves right there. And I have three of these t-shirts, but they are extremely soft. They almost feel like a microfiber suede. So this is probably the best thing that I've ever done. Like since I've got, since when I get out the shower, after I wash my hair and I'm trying to hurry up and dry off, like the water runs down my neck and I'm back wet again. And so I always know, see people like use t-shirts and stuff to put on their hair. And I'm just like, I don't want to pull the moisture out of my hair. And I don't want my hair to be dry and frizzy. But this t-shirt actually does not make my hair do that. I think I got this t-shirt a long time ago from Walmart or Target. It doesn't have a name on it, but it came from Walmart or Target a long time ago. And I have like four of them and I just sleep in them. I cut holes in them. Just so, um, I mean, I just did that as a design, but then I ended up not even really wearing it like that. So I cut it in half, and what I do is I take it from the bottom, and I just put it around my head like that. And then I twist it like a turban. And then I just pull it back, and I tuck it like that. And I just wear it like this until I get out the shower and dry off, put on my lotion, and put on some clothes. And it literally keeps the water from running down my neck. Like, I cannot stand that. So, um, like I said, all I have is this in, the living conditioner. And I'm going to detangle, spray a little bit of water in there, and then I'm going to put this in and show you how I define and, like, shingle my curls to get definition. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like wet, of course, and then what it looks like dry later on. But, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. My hair is already fully detangled, so I'm able to just go through it with this comb. I'm not being rough. I detangled in the shower. I'm not one of those naturals that can, that won't use combs. I love combs. I have combs all over my house. So this is the part where people stop, most people stop when they're doing wash and goes and your hair looks big like this. It'll probably be cute, but I like to I like my hair to get big like this by like the third or fourth day. So it, it doesn't have any definition. It's just big. Um I mean it's like it's it's just waiting to be defined. 
So what I'm going to do is take and wet it just a little bit more. And now I'm going to work in sections. I have a clip and I'm just going to pull up this top part and just kind of put some of the product up underneath here. I'm not going to part this part right here because I'm wearing my part on this side so I don't need to do that. It's just that my bangs are so thick and end up under here. So this is what the product looks like. It's just like a clear consistency and it smells so good. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to use about this much. I think last time when I did this style for the um, deep condition protective styling and um, whatever the video I was I just did. This is the product that I had in my hair before I put my deep conditioner and show you at the beginning. But I think I put too much like leave-in conditioner. So when I put the leave-in conditioner in the shower I just used about a quarter size. I might have used more than that. So I just rub it in and then what I do is stick my fingers in and when I stick my fingers in I close my fingers together and pull down and that's what straightens and you get up under here and I'm just r literally running my fingers through my hair and squeezing my fingers together you can thin your sections out even more if you want but so see I'm just grabbing and in and then grab and pull down see that So that's all I do and I just take chunks and I still kind of have product in the middle of my hands but I'll use that for back here. I'm just really squeezing my hair in between my fingers as I pull and define. And you can kind of see the hair go into chunks. And you want your hair to be soaking wet doing this. You do not want your hair to be dried out. It has to be soaking wet. That's why I sprayed it with that water a couple times. So then I'll section my bangs again. Cause I really want that product to get in there. And then I'm going to spray more water. Use the comb just for this layer. I'm not going to take the comb all the way through. some more and this bottle is almost gone but I have two more and I like to get it all the way down to the scalp and you can add in that layer up underneath there that you just did you can grab in that hair too and you want to move fast doing this because once your hair starts to dry it starts to set and you don't want to bother it after it starts to dry so if I wasn't recording this video from the shower to here would take me less than 10 minutes normally like it literally does not take me long to do this Feel like your hair is starting to dry out just add more water but it's 
So now I'm going to add in this side that I've been dodging and this is where you really want to set your part. Mine's kind of deep. So I'm going to take a little bit more conditioner, about that much. I'll comb your top layer. I could have just divided that section one more time because that's where my hair is the thickest, is in the top. And I always take and put this side behind my ear when I'm wearing the deep part. And my ends are kind of more puffy, so I always like to make sure I get those ends. And by the time I get down, my hair is like straight and flat to my head because that's how you start off with the most definition. So that's what I like to do. So I really make sure I melt these ends from the top of my hair that only reach to about here. I melt them into the rest of my hair so that you don't see any division in length of my layers or because I have an exaggerated part, there's going to be some hair that only reaches to right there which is okay but I'm gonna let these layers grow out as I grow my hair I remember my hair is coming from like super short pixie cut I've been keeping my ends cut real good some people would probably say that I've cut my hair too much but remember I had that old color that bleach which I bleached my hair a thousand times to get all those bright colors just because I'm addicted to bleach and color so when I'm trying to grow my hair I'd always darken my hair down and when I put black and purple in there it keeps me from bleaching my hair damaging it more which would cause me to have to cut my hair so yeah I'll just define until I feel comfortable that it's all the ends are together and define So oh, there is no fluffy big hair left. Remember, you want your hair to be soaking wet while you're doing this. You don't want to drag and pull that causes damage. Sometimes I have to make myself stop because I just like how my hair feels when it's like this. That's all I do and I'm getting ready to put my outfit on um, I will show you pictures what it looks like later on when it's dry it'll probably look very similar to this but just a little shrunken which I love my shrinkage and be good from there all right I'll see you later